Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, this song's really good. How do you cook beans? How do I cook beans? So basically, um, uh, so basically I get the, I usually just get Goya black beans, right? Put a whole can in a pot, just like that. And oh, add a can? Yeah. Add I have dried ones. Oh, well then you just have to add enough water as it says to, like a cup or something. And then just boil the beans and stuff like that until most of the water goes away. It was like, boil it for two minutes, take it off the heat, and have it sit covered for an hour. Oh. And they're like, still like, almost crunchy. I wouldn't do that. That's well, that's what the bag told me to do, so I did it. It was a bad yeah, I always get canned beans because it is like super hard. I get canned beans too. You never go, you never go wrong with Goya. So, what song is this, Alex? This isn't the song. No. It's the one after this. Okay. Well, but it has bird sounds at the beginning. What record is this? Um, it's a. Um, it's actually really funny. It's a. Aiden got me this in Amsterdam. It's a Pink Floyd record. But it's a knockoff Pink Floyd record. So like a cover? So stuff, it's, it's a cover band or something? No, no, it's just a knockoff. Like, cause the actual Pink Floyd record is super rare and super expensive. Oh, so, so like, he got me like he. I mean, he didn't know he got me a knockoff. But like, look at this. <laughs> made in Hong Kong. No. Yeah. It says Hong Kong. Kong. <laughs> made in Hong Kong. So, like, it's basically, like, you know, like, making, like, a cool. fake CD, right? You just burn all the songs digitally yeah. onto, like, a CD, okay. Well, but it's on our record. Yeah, obviously. But it's really good. And it's, like, a vagina. I don't think he realized that either. Yeah. <laughs> show, it to, show it to the viewers. <laughs> My vagina? Yeah. No, not, not, not yours. <laughs> the album. My album. But anyway, guys, me and Alex are going to go get piercings today. Okay, this song's coming. This song. Alright. Do you know the name of this song? No. Can't, my mom called me. Uh, maybe we should call I don't even see you. Can you open the door? And I thought I could just be back with the vlog, guys. <laughs> Let's make it, just keep it PG. I hate what I wrote. I'm always PG. <laughs> Alright, you hate what you wrote? I wrote. Anyway, listen, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Show that Have to my friend Jay. Uh, no, I have no, not. No. Okay, so we can like eat together. Yeah, too. sure. Good. I might eat my leftover. I've right. only had like some of my leftovers from like dinner the other day, so I'm like no, I need I to like, eat something. I might eat my leftover breakfast food from like 3 p.m. Are those? Where did I? I've never seen those Converse. What? I've had these She's for like two them. years. I'm not seen them. Or I've had them for like over a year. I've been wearing them a lot more this past. Well, that's because we haven't gone to school oh, or I hung out for like multiple days in since 2017. Look at this picture I took of Alex, guys. Let me hold it better. Very nice. Oh, Alex, feel my... Oh, my nose. Oh. It's the one that makes me feel like a little lamb. I like it. It's really soft. All right. Ooh, yes. Lamb coat. Ooh. Ooh, la, la. Yeah. I wrote, <laughs> Is this what occurs when a lightning strikes a conductive object someone is holding, like an umbrella? I remember reading that the charge in clouds is disparate, which causes lightning to occur, and it then targets a conductive surface. So I believe it would target the conductive surface and would flow through the human to then the plumbing where it can eventually be grounded so it can become electrically neutral. Could you potentially surround yourself with insulators to minimize the likelihood of getting struck? Wow, it looks oh, like you really yeah. suck in your professor's dick. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get an A. <laughs> I, no, I can curse, right? Just no other sus stuff. That's just PG-13. PG-13, whatever. We can curse. we got to be consistent yeah. with the rating. Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. I'm Could just... you potentially surround yourself with insulators to minimize? Mm -hmm. What's going on? What are we doing, Sarah? So we're in the piercing shop, oh. and Alex and Adam are about to get some piercing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't be a baby. Oh, oh my god, don't be a baby. I'm kidding. <laughs> you did it! You did it crying, Adam. We love you. Little all grown up. I didn't get the crying. I just got <laughs> You look so good. Hey guys, we are another vlog. Hello. Um, Alex, look at Alex's piercing. Red ear. It's very red. And surprise guys, here's mine. It's really good. 
Um, it, it hurt, guys. I cried. <laughs> now we all have nose piercings. Yes, look at that. Twinning. Boom. 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 No, guys, I, re I really did cry. <laughs> I, feel, like, I actually, feel it. Actually. I feel so like I just need to touch it, but the guy's like, "No, don't touch it." I really need to touch it. It's been like twenty minutes. It's been, it's been Jeffrey time. Jellyfish. I have to touch you. Anyway, the guy said I gotta clean all that stuff, so I gotta worry about that now and stuff. Take care of yourself. Like, so, so like, how long do I gotta really, 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 really clean it for? Like five months. You, you, need, <laughs> you need to clean it. Yeah. If you don't, you're gonna get a nose bubble. Yeah, which we both which got. we both had. Really? Yeah. And then you have to put and tea tree oil on it. Yeah. So then happens. it takes even. Well, I also was using the wrong kind of saline for like three and a half for four months, and then when I finally switched to the right one and like put a little of my like tea tree shampoo it on it, it like immediately healed. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. So like. Just so like just follow it correctly it. and then you'll be fine. It's because I went in the ocean and I fucked uh, it up. Oh, what happened <laughs> to me was I was really good at cleaning it and then I was like, oh, it's healed, and then I just like touch it all the time and then i got the nose bump so like uh, it's not healed until like four months five months i didn't change mine out until we got ours in january yeah we got on bean's birthday so january february March, april may june january. i didn't change my out for like six months seven months yeah. and I'll, i just still have the same one i don't know if i'll change it out but like i need to like do you like the stud yeah it looks cool i like the stud how it looks but i just need to touch it don't so touch like, it. It like now I can touch it like three four months like, this? like four three four months until I could really like, like five months I could like play around with it four months yeah like four and a half all right <laughs> all right guys big sad, yeah, big sad. Just don't like touch June. it June you're allowed to touch it <laughs> big sad <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys I'll be touching it all night <laughs> like, as soon as you like put the camera Adam wakes up in the morning so guys I have a scar bump now <laughs> on my nose immediately. So like I don't understand. In the shower you can touch it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the shower you can touch it because it's clean. Because it's clean. It's all that your your hands are dirty. So what if I just wash my hands and touch it? Can I? Is that fine? Yeah, I like, guess. <laughs> I don't know if I do that. All right, whatever. Anyway, guys, we're on our way home now. I'm putting this in my ear. You think that's fine? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Yeah. Go. Go. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later.